In this video, learn one trading myth that can actually make you a better trader. Hi, I'm Mike Bellafuri, co-founder of SME Capital, and we're a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan. And I'm also the author of the trading classic, One Good Trade, and the playbook. In this video, a firm prop trader shares what has helped him significantly improve as a trader that most are told never to do. Let's get to work on dispelling this trading myth so you don't make the mistake many others have. My name is Justin and I've been trading at SMB for about three years. Um, and before that I interned for a couple months uh, during my senior year in college. Um, I recently started mentoring um, new traders and developing traders. Uh, and we're doing this presentation today to just talk about what I learned from mentoring, um, how it has benefited my trading and how it has led to an increase in trading profits for me. First, I think it's important to talk about if you should look for a mentor or not. A mentor is not there to answer generic trading questions. So what does that mean exactly? Um, well, if you don't understand simple terminology such as a core position, hitting the bids, uh, scaling, risking to X. The stock is squeezing, um, then it's not something that you should look into. You need to do more research and use the internet to increase your knowledge. So even if your account balance doesn't really show it, you should feel like an intermediate trader in terms of knowledge and to put it another way you just must be able to talk the talk you should have some understanding of popular intraday trading patterns um what they mean you should know the significance of a high or low a lower high etc in your studying and in your research you'll inevitably hit a brick wall or the pace at which you're learning relative to the amount of time and effort you're putting into your studies um, is plateauing. So you're putting in work um, and the information you're learning is just not taking you anywhere else. A mentor is also someone who's at a stage in their career that you want to get to. Of course, everyone wants to be a seven figure trader. But that doesn't mean that when you're looking for a mentor, you should ask someone who is making seven figures, eight figures a year. When I was looking for a mentor, when I first started and I was making a couple hundred dollars a day, um, I reached out to someone who was making a few thousand dollars a day. That was the next step that I wanted to get to. Um, and if you're someone who is making a couple hundred dollars a day and you look for a mentor who's making a million dollars, you know, their knowledge and experiences, it's just gonna be too far beyond what, what you could process and, and understand. Um, it's, a, it's a step by step process. So you're making a couple hundred dollars a day, you look for someone uh, to mentor you who's making a couple thousand. You're making a couple thousand dollars a day. You want to get to that five figure a day um, place. You look for someone that's doing that and then so on and so forth. Um, and a potential mentor needs to see that you're committed and you've already put in the time and effort. You're basically asking someone to take the time out of their trading day to spend their mental capital on you. So you need to be serious about it. You need to show examples of the work you've been doing. Um, you need to tell this person, I do X, Y, Z in the morning and I scan for stocks and I look for stocks that are doing this. Um, after the close, this is the work I'm doing and I can send you a couple of my journal entries. I can send you a couple of my playbooks. And, you know, most importantly, mentoring is a brain to pick, an ear to listen to, and a push in the right direction. 
Um, just to go a little bit further into that, I once was matched with a trainee who really just wanted to ask me, what do you think of XYZ stock long? What do you think of XYZ stock short? Can you get on a voice call and talk about what you're trading and your executions in real time? Um, that is just not the point of it. Um, that information will only take you so far. You need to learn the concepts behind the trades and entries, um, so on and so forth. If you want to learn three more real world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right hand corner of your screen. That will open up the free registration page in a new window. So don't worry, you won't lose this video. You can also visit tradingworkshop.com to register for this free intensive workshop. You're going to learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. So what does a structured mentorship look like? This is something that I will send to um, new mentees. And this is something that I expect them to follow. Um, I give them suggestions on homework uh, and it's like a college course, you know, you're either going to do the work um, and that way the professor is going to see that you're taking it seriously. And that way, once he sees that you're doing the work or she sees that you're doing the work, um, they're going to put more effort into to teaching you, um, and you're gonna get much more out of it. And really what the homework is, is work that the mentor has done to get where he's at. So a few examples, mentees are expected to upload and tag their trades at the end of each day into trader view. Um, that way they could get a detailed look at the statistics of each trade. Um, each trader is to write a journal entry to just highlight observations on how they traded, any errors that they made, um, emotions related to the trading day. Uh, it's pretty much a daily report card. Um, mentees are also asked to create a playbook, which is something all of us at SMB do. Uh, and each week I choose on a mentee to share the playbook via Zoom screen share and what that does is um, it gives them the chance to talk about a trade that they took out loud. You could do a little bit of bar by bar analysis um, for the trade management. Uh, and it forces a conversation between the mentor, the mentee, talk about what you could have done better. Well, you got stopped out there. What could you do differently next time? So on and so forth. Uh, and here's kind of what the schedule looks like. So 8.45, I'll share my ideas. The mentee will share their ideas uh, and we could discuss those a little bit. Uh, 9.30, of course, the bell till about 12 will be trading. Um, 12 to two during the afternoon hours when stocks are kind of in a lull. Um, then we're expect to chat a little bit, talk about what's setting up for the close, maybe discuss some of the trades they took in the morning, uh, what trades they're still in. And two to four, volume begins to pick up again um, and we're focused on trading. Now, throughout the week, you can see it changes a little bit. And after the close, um, the mentees will present a playbook, what we just discussed. Um, and on Friday, after the close, I will typically do a Zoom meeting and we'll do a screen share. Um, I'll go over some of my top trades for the week and we'll do an analysis of each trade, just go very into detail about why I took the trade, all the checks in favor. We'll take a look at multiple time frames. Um, mentees will ask questions and really that'll strike up um, some really great conversation and learning opportunities. Um, and that's what has really actually helped me and my process going over 
specific trades from the week and talking out loud and having the mentees ask questions. Um, and what that forces me to do is explain the trades in detail and simplify some of the concepts. And we'll talk about that a little more shortly. So a little bit about how I started mentoring. Uh, once I became consistently profitable, I was offered the opportunity to mentor developing traders. Um, and I was worried that this would cut into my time and take my focus away from, from my trading process. Um, and that was not the case at all. What really happened was I was teaching lessons to these new developing traders and what that was doing for me was just reminding me constantly of um, my rules and trading beliefs and as a junior trader on the desk I always like to lend a helping hand to new traders and teach them concepts and risk management techniques that I wish someone taught me when I put on my first trade about five years ago and from just a firm perspective, I thought that this could really benefit the desk as a whole. So little did I know that what this would do is give a boost to my overall equity curve. From a firm perspective, or even just a trading group perspective, if you're in a Discord chat, uh, it really promotes a learning culture. And eventually it evolves into everyone sharing ideas and sharing what they've learned um, throughout their trading career. This is something I see all the time. Why become a mentor? Uh, when someone thinks about a trading mentor, a lot of people ask the question, well, why would a successful trader take the time out of their day to do this? Um, if they're making money consistently. And just a really simple answer is, they're paying it forward. So every successful trader knows how difficult it is in the beginning. You're passionate about trading. You're very into it. You spend hours researching, studying, ripping through charts, journaling, making these playbooks, reviewing trades. And your PL is either, let's face it, it's going down or it's, it's going nowhere. You're not making money. You're not losing money. Um, and that can be very disheartening. Uh, and, if we see that you're putting in the work, I think that most established, consistently profitable traders are happy to pass on their wisdom uh, to someone else that they see has potential. Um, and how do we see how you have potential? You are showing us the work that you're doing. I remember when I was a developing trader on the desk, I saw that there was a trader and he was trading at a level that I wanted to get to. So. I reached out to that trader and this, this junior trader had no idea who I was. I don't think he's ever seen my face before. Um, and I'll never forget that he was nice enough to lend a helping hand to me. He spoke to me on the phone um, multiple times a week for about a half hour to an hour, just talking about what got him from where I was to where he was. And really that made all the difference to me. Um, and I think when that happens to a trader, they're very likely to do the same for someone else. The second reason is um, when a trader is forced to communicate their approach to the market and vocalize their thought process, um, their trades in a simple way, less experienced or newer traders can understand. It really crystallizes those concepts for the mentor. Um, so a simple example of this is talking about a, a, a stop loss, where you're putting your stop for a trade. Uh, so maybe there is, for example, news and a stock and it's positive news and the stock was previously trading below VWAP for that news. Um, and all of a sudden you get a huge volume breakout through VWAP and the stock is trading above VWAP now. 
Uh, so a mentee or developing trader says, okay, I'm going to put my stop just below VWAP. And you say, well, that's not a good stop. Well, why isn't that a good stop? And maybe the new trader, he doesn't really under understand exactly why it's not a good stop. Um, and then you have to explain what VWAP really is. Uh, it's not really an exact price that we use. Um, it's just an area. And you have to explain that a little more in detail. And you have to then explain where a good stop is. Uh, and then you could say, well, a good stop will be under the price where that news hit and that volume broke out through VWAP. You want to put your stop under that volume uh, candle, that high volume candle. So really it forces you to simplify concepts. Um, and when you do that over and over and over, uh, it really just crystallizes those. So uh, moreover, I found that most successful traders are energetic and just passionate about trading. They're passionate about the trades that they take, their playbook trades, their setup, and uh, they love to take the opportunity to discuss their trading. So I'll tell you that say you see someone that's more senior to you, um, they made a ton of money and you're just really, wow, I would love to make that much one day. Uh, let me look at his trade. Let me ask him about it. And maybe, you know, you're, you're new on the desk or you don't really know this person. So you're a little nervous to approach them, bother them. It might be during the trading day. Uh, I think that you'll find that Successful traders, they love to talk about their trades. Um, I know I do. I know that any time uh, a new developing trader or, you know, just someone that is brand new on the desk comes up to me and asks me about a trade, I'm more than happy to take the time to go over it and talk about it. And I saw another nice quote online. Um, no one learns more about a subject than someone who operates in the field and teaches it. And I think that is um, very true. And here's a look at the PL curve from my starting date when I first started mentoring, which was around this time last year and till now. Um, and you could just see that uh, it has been very consistent. Um, of course, there has been some great trading opportunities along the way. But I don't think that it would be as nice as it is if I wasn't doing the mentoring and taking the time out of my day to teach new traders or even just less experienced traders um, my methodologies and explaining them in detail. So now I just want to talk a little bit about the benefits of a mentorship uh, program at a pro firm or even a trading group, such as a Skype group or a Discord group. Um, really what it does is it creates a learning culture. So internally promoting a mentoring program fosters a business culture that promotes learning and growth. Um, when a developing traders are partnered with a mentor who can help direct their growth, they know that their future is being invested in. Um, and that can really make all the difference. Uh, furthermore, a mentoring program promotes a shared learning atmosphere in which traders are encouraged to learn from one another. Something that Dr. Steenbarger likes to say is each one teach one. Um, everyone is an instructor and a student. And there are many things that I've learned from mentees um, that where if I hadn't taken them on, um, I'd be less off. I've learned some really great things from these people, such as um, different ways of scaling in front side and using options. So I'm currently mentoring someone who is really an options geek. Um, and I have little experience with options. I do have an options account and I know all the basics and the basic trades, but when we're talking about 
you know, shorting the front side of a move and you think a blow off is coming and the stock is going to shortly be on its backside, there's a way to scale into calls while you're short stock that reduces your risk greatly. Um, and I was slightly aware of this, but my mentee actually took the time to create a presentation for me um, and show me how I could do that. Um, and it was great. Uh, another example is I was mentoring a older gentleman who was a higher time frame trader, a very successful higher time frame trader, but um, he wanted to learn tape reading and he wanted to learn momentum and price action. And that was something he was interested in. Um, so I went ahead and I worked with this guy for two months, three months. And in return, he taught me about something that I didn't know existed, which was called the Wyckoff method. Um, and that is basically accumulation and distribution patterns within a higher time frame structure. Um, and this is something I may have never learned about or come across if it, if it wasn't for that. Um, and I was able to use what I learned from that when I was trading uh, intraday ranges. Next, it really uh, encourages personal and professional growth. So I found that traders learn best when they're in a comfortable environment, uh, when they're paired with a mentor who they know is guiding them in the right direction. Um, in return, mentees are confident and comfortable with taking risks and making mistakes because they recognize the importance of learning from those mistakes. The role of a mentor is not only to talk about profitable straight trading strategies and talk about their winning trades. Um, it's also to talk about the mistakes that they've made um, and what they've learned from those mistakes. And I think what that does is it, it makes the mentee more comfortable taking, taking those, taking those trades and, and making those mistakes and, and getting stopped out. Uh, for example, a new trader could have a short idea and the short idea could be perfect, but what they need to do is they need to also execute properly intraday. And I find that a lot of new traders will say, okay, this is a really good short idea from a higher time frame perspective. Um, it's below this very important support level on the daily and I think it's gonna go lower. So what they do is they wait for the stock to trade, um, they wait for an opening range to set up and then they're shorting lows. And that's something that I used to do. But you, know, you realize you can't be hitting lows because that's where the stock is most likely to bounce. What you wanna do is short pops. You wanna short a lower high and risk against the previous lower high, you want to short a failure into VWAP, you want to wait for a consolidation under VWAP. Um, and when you talk about the fact that, hey, I know you made this mistake today, and I used to do that all the time. Um, here's what I learned from that. And here's what I do now and what fixed that mistake. Sometimes that's really all a trader needs to hear. And they realize that, okay, well, this trader made the same mistakes that I did. And now he trades this setup um, almost perfectly. And it's one of his best setups. And he makes uh, a lot of his PL on that setup now. And really, it, it just comes full circle. So when a new trader is appointed a mentor and benefits from the partnership, the mentee is more likely to volunteer to do the same for the new traders uh, joining that group or desk. Um, and this can dramatically reduce the learning curve and increase PL um, across the board. So I know that a lot of the senior guys run teams on SMB um, and the juniors learn from the senior traders. And now a lot of the junior traders on the desk are being matched with developing traders, second year traders. And now those new developing and second year traders um, 
they're going to have an obligation to teach the new guys when they become junior traders. And it's a trickle down effect. And overall, um, this could just greatly increase morale and PL across the board. I saw that Bella had posted this on his Twitter. He wrote, said by one firm trader during his monthly review, mentoring traders helped me improve my trading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess that that was me. Uh, and then he writes, what if it is just not accurate that you should keep your profitable trading tra strategy to yourself? Um, what if that misbelief is holding you back from becoming your best trader? And my thoughts on that are, yeah, well, not every um, consistently profitable trader is going to want to share with you. Um, and that's okay. But what I have to say to that is most traders are trading very scalable strategies. We're trading stocks in play that are typically trading tens of million shares a day. Um, they're doing RVOL, unusual volume. Sometimes these setups that we're trading are trading hundreds of million shares a day. Why not pass on a trading strategy that is extremely scalable to a new trader. It's not going to take away your edge. Um, it's not going to take away what you could get out of a certain move. Um, and also, you could teach a new trader your strategy, but does that mean that they're going to be able to implement that um, as good as, as you can? Well, no, because they also need to have proper risk management. Um, they need to have an understanding of how the trade works. So I just don't think it is um, necessarily correct to, to keep your strategies to yourself if they're very scalable and it's, it's not going to um, take your edge away. So I was looking through some of the replies on Twitter and I found some interesting ones. Uh, Zatir writes, a profitable strategy is one third of the story. Being able to adhere to ex explicit and implicit rules day in and day out is the real def differentiator. Uh, good strategies are like good business ideas, a dime a dozen. Execution on the other hand, yeah. Um, I completely agree with this, and that's kind of what I just, just spoke about. You need to adhere to the rules of the strategy, um, or else it's not going to work. Chris writes, I always tell my employees I would never ask them to do something I wouldn't do, and I do the actual task in front of them, initially for training, which keeps me from being rusty. Plus, over time, you're able to simplify the strategy as much as possible by training. Um, Great point, and we went over that a little bit in the presentation. Uh, once you're simplifying a strategy, it really crystallizes it for you, and constantly reminding yourself uh, is a great way to follow your rules intraday, day in and day out. The Trading Network writes, this is certainly true in my experience. Um, the more we talk about our mistakes and make them known, the more comfortable we become with addressing them from an analytical, analytical perspective and furthermore improving them. I couldn't agree more with that. Uh, when we talk about our mistakes, uh, it makes the mentee and the new trader feel more comfortable making those mistakes as we discussed. And it reminds us not to make those mistakes again in our trading. And sometimes it's all we need for, from uh, keeping us away from a big loss. Hey, go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos they're producing for you in the trading community. And please take the time to add your feedback in the comments section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video. From all of us at SMB, train and trade well.